Oh, what I do for a living? It's a very interesting question. I'm a porn actress. <laughs> I shoot in porn. Acum o să o întreb, pentru cine e mai greu meseria asta? Pentru bărbat sau pentru femeie? So, do you think this, this job uh-huh. is more difficult for the girl or for the woman or for the man? 100% for the man. Because... Uh, really? Yes, really. Okay. Yeah. Because, first of all, let's say about uh, about his salary. His salary is much uh, low, lower than the girl's price. Like triple, triple times less. And uh, he works like triple times more. First of all, he needs to be hard all the time. So there is, if there is no dick, so there is no shooting. And <laughs> <laughs> if there is no dick, there is no shooting. I have to remember this. Okay. Okay. They are going there and they will fuck beautiful girls for five minutes and they will be millionaires. No, it's not like that. It's completely not like that. Usually you even start with a gay porn. Sometimes size matter, matter if you just want to fuck. <laughs> Acum vreo două zile, Orest, băiatul care a încărătorit prin Ucraina, mi-a scris și mi-a spus că o tipă ucrainiancă se află în momentul de față aici, în București, și că ar trebui să scriu ca să mă întâlnesc cu ea, să filmăm un video, să filmăm un vlog, ceva de genul ăsta. Ulterior, mi-a povestit că fata respectivă este foarte cunoscută în industria uh, adult din Ucraina și la un research am înuțit despre ea, am văzut că da, ea este actriță porno, cu asta se ocupă, asta este ceea ce face. Uh, ne-am văzut ieri, am fost la carul cu bere să mâncăm și astăzi trebuie să ne întâlnim astfel încât tot așa să ne plimăm puțin și a fost de acord să facem un vlog prin care să vorbim despre Ucraina, despre viața ei, despre ea și așa mai departe. O tipă extrem este de simpatică, pe care abia aștept să vă arăt. Uh, da, sper să fie un video cel puțin interesant. Ok, so guys, now I have to introduce you to... Josephine Jackson. Josephine Jackson. Josephine is from Ukraine. Which part of Ukraine? Uh, from the west part, in Lviv. It's close to Poland. Very close to Poland. Mm-hmm. And how did you arrive in Bucharest? You have to tell the story because for me it's very interesting. Oh, uh, there is actually nothing interesting. It's just a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit uh, difficult, let's say, because uh, I started my trip from Lviv, and from there I took one bus, little bus. Uh, we drove to Chernivtsi. It's like I guess it's like was two hours. You don't know? Yeah, two hours. After we had a stop there for one hour and a half, and from there we took a big international bus, and after like, I guess, 12 hours more, and we are in Bucharest. Today, I told you guys that yesterday we went to Karo to Kubere to eat something, and today we came to North Sky Bar, which is one of my favorite places here in Bucharest, and the first thing we saw, and we were very happy, Yes, I was I was uh, surprised that they have this thing on the menu, which unavailable. is unavailable. like a, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's also it's expensive, some... around 100 euros. Yeah, this. because it's caviar there. Ah, yeah, caviar, and it says unavailable. Stop the work. Yeah. What do you feel when you see this? All, all I'm I'm Ukrainian very happy. Things. You know, I'm very happy, and uh, I appreciate that uh, people from other countries r- really support Ukraine, even in such way. So they don't care, even that it's the uh, probably the most expensive uh, dish but they just you know cancel it because it's russian now we have to cheers once again maybe with a cocktail a very interesting fact about josephine is that she doesn't drink alcohol no you I... are not a proper ukrainian <laughs> yes i don't have ukrainian blood inside me i don't know why but i just don't like the taste and uh, i prefer Smoke <laughs> <laughs> she prefers to smoke weed, but she doesn't like the idea. But no, uh, guys, the thing is that not that she drinks just a bit. No, no, she doesn't drink at all. Like for example, when you see if they they sent us this one, I finished mine and she just took like two sips. But did you ever used to drink? I used to drink when I was younger, maybe I had a better health at the time, when I was 15, 16, something like that. I could even drink like half a liter of vodka alone, you know? When you were 15? Yes. <laughs> so this means Ukrainians start very early. Yes, That's... I finish also very early. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're retired from drinking, yes. basically. So Josephine, I'm now going to ask you the big question. What do you do for a living? 
Oh, what I do for a living? It's a very interesting question. I'm a porn actress. <laughs> I shoot in porn. Okay, and you've been doing this since? Since 2019. Already four years. Okay, so like a professional porn Professional, actress. yes. Professional. Mm -hmm. Tell me one good thing and one bad thing about being a professional porn actress. Mm, let me think. Maybe the good one that you are traveling a lot and you meet a lot of nice people. Uh, and the bad thing is probably um, you put on yourself some stereotypes of other people, I know, because they start to judge you of something because you are doing poor and blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, I don't care already. Okay, but in the beginning, these people judging you, that it did, it, uh, did it affect you emotionally in the beginning? A little bit, you know, of course. I was stressful, I was upset, but I just uh, took myself and uh, I was thinking like, okay, it will uh, it will gone sooner or later and uh, everything will be okay. I will become famous and they will be just jealous of me. And it happened like that. Josephine also has an OnlyFans account. Yeah, I have. And what do you publish on your OnlyFans account? Oh, I publish some very exclusive sexual content of mine. Some backstages, some my own content with the girls and alone. Some nasty things. <laughs> so you have nasty things, yeah? Yeah. yeah. The food arrives. Uruguay Antiquots. Mom, what's your age? House. O secundă, că trebuie să vi-l prezint și pe o secundă. Pe bunul meu prieten de acum foarte mulți ani, dacă vă uitați la Counter Strike, domnul Kidor de la Teg. Cum ești, mă Kidor, după atâția ani? Sunt foarte bine, mulțumesc. Lucrez într-un restaurant unde am asigurat totul, adică e stab am stabilitate. Sunt am maturizat destul de mult, am trei copii, am emoții, acum am mai luat direct așa. <laughs> pe Kidor, îți știu de când mă duceam, eram în clasa 12, tu câți ani acum? 36. 36. De când mă duceam, frate, în Fantazia, deci vorbim de 2002, 3, Cred că sunt 20, 20 de ani, ani. 20 de ani. Vorbim, da. când știu și din uh, CC, da, de, de acolo, de CC și eu, Fantazia, da. frate, și știu că era Kidor, când jucai cu Q, Q, cu Q acolo am început, da. cu nu, cu Lo, Lo, cu Ro, Lo, da, Lo, cu Fantazia Lo. și după mm. aia am trecut pe Q, am progresat, ce să zic. Am progresat și acum cu counter nimic. Counter-ul numai de aproximativ 5 ani. Și gata, și cum, scena de counter din România e oricum, cum e din punctul de vedere? Eu am văzut că e ok, nu știu, e în creștere, nu mai sunt în, în domeniu, nu m-am mai interesat. Am făcut ceva live-uri, să zic, acum 2 ani când a fost vorba de pandemie. Uh, a fost destul de ok perioada aia, după care m-am reprofilat iar că s-au dat drumul la treabă. Prefer varianta sigură și, tăi, având în vedere că am și 3 copii, Trei copii, cum ai? Două fete și un băiat, nu? Două fete mari, 9 și 10 ani, fac acum în ianuarie și am un băiețel de 5 luni. Wow, foarte tare, să-ți trăiască. Mersi, mersi. Mersi frumos. Deci domnul Chidor, uitați-vă ce mi-a dus frate, aici este o friptură de Uruguay cu niște legume. And you just took another, uh, what, a salad? Yes, Caesar salad, as I said. Nothing she special. doesn't eat much, she doesn't drink much. No, actually, I eat a lot if I will smoke weed. <laughs> but we didn't find it here. <laughs> yeah, the adverse is that I actually, because I don't smoke weed and I've never tried in my life, I don't know where to get weed in Bucharest. That's like one of my main issues. So I wasn't able to be a good uh, Romanian, a good host, and to help her with her weed needs. So yeah, that was... It was written even in Google that you need to ask some Romanian friend about that. They will help you and... Yeah, and she found the worst Romanian <laughs> friend ever, you know? Yeah. I have a question for you. Yes. What changed in your career from the first time you did this? How was it the first time when you had to actually perform something in front of the camera? Oh, you know, I had very interesting experience because uh, I w my call time was at 10 a.m. But it was a mistake because uh, at that moment there was another shooting. So I had this experience just to see uh, how someone is shooting. So I already was like I was aware 
about that because there was some uh, Japanese or Chinese girl and she was even with trans okay so the first thing I was coming inside in the studio and I see on the couch some Japanese or Chinese man after it uh, I realized that it was just a translator of the girl but because she doesn't speak at all so it was like Mm, they were doing something like in some position and after the uh, director say okay now you need to do that and she doesn't understand so translator translator comes to the on the set during this uh, shooting and just translator you need to do that and that you need to suck now and she just start to suck and after okay tell her that and it's so so weird you know when there is this person who need to translate what you need to do in the sex I mean but after that I understood what I need to do, how it looks like, how I need to behave and my shooting was very um, successful, let's say. Even my partner, my first partner said that looks like I don't do that like first time. Acum o să întreb pentru cine e mai greu meseria asta, pentru bărbat sau pentru femeie? So, do you think this this job mm -hmm. is more difficult for the girl or for the woman or for the man? 100% for the man. Because uh, really, yes, really. Okay, yeah. Because first of all, let's say about uh, about his salary. His salary is much uh, low, lower than the girl's price, like triple, triple times less. And uh, he works like triple times more. First of all, he need to be hard all the time. So. For example, we do a lot of cuts, we have a lot of breaks, it's a uh, continued drilling all day and you always need to be hard or at least when they tell you to be hard, you need to be hard or everyone will wait for you because you know, there is if there is no dick, so there is no shooting. And <laughs> if there is no dick, there is no shooting, I have to remember this, okay, okay, yeah. And uh, after at the end, like when everything shot, so they just ask you, now you can come. So, and you know, you even, the guy usually don't receive so much pleasure because, you know, you just fuck one minute after they do cut, they change the light, blah, blah, blah. And after you again do some one, two minutes, after again you wait. And at the end, you know, you are not like excited, you don't receive pleasure and now you need to come. And faster because, you know, we are all waiting. And you know, it's like a lot of pressure of, uh, for you because you are standing, everyone uh, looking at you and waiting when you will come because from you depends when we will finish. So for me, I mean, from the men's side, it's really horrible, I think. It's very difficult work for him. Okay, but do you think there are more men who want to become porn actors, but it's very difficult, or more girls want to become porn actresses? I think uh, more guys want to become porn actors, but they don't just realize what it is like what it is to be a porn actor i mean they just think that they are going there and they will fuck beautiful girls for five minutes and they will be millionaires no it's not like that it's completely not like that usually you even start with the gay porn you know what <laughs> if the guy wants to start porn so it's very difficult for him for him to start because nobody wants just to take some amateur and uh, to make a fail on his shooting so usually if you start it so they propose you some gays uh, porn you know we will check you how you will be how you, it's going if you will be good maybe we will take you for the girl so wait a second and you told me that like uh, uh, the capital of porn you said that it's Budapest mm -hmm. Budapest and Prague Mm -hmm. Is there the, 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 the porn industry, local industry in Ukraine, is it a big thing or not? Industri porn industry? Yeah, yeah, like in, Ukraine? in Ukraine? No, yeah. in Ukraine it's illegal. Porn is illegal in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nu mă gândesc că în România e ilegal, habar n-am frate, deci nu știu dacă e ilegal, există la noi ceva, în astea case de producție, n-am nici cea mai vagă idee, dar o să-mi spuneți voi cu siguranță. We order some dessert now and I want to ask you something else. As a woman, as a professional, what do you think, does size matter or not? Sometimes size matter, matter if you just want to fuck. <laughs> But you know, you, I mean, about some uh, big, long relationship, I mean, if you like the person and uh, by some accident he doesn't have a huge dick, uh, but he knows how to use it and you have feelings, so I think it's not a big problem if he doesn't have a huge dick, but like a normal, like average one. The main thing, of course, if you have a very small, it's bad. It's always bad. <laughs> but his average is okay. <laughs> 
This is the most honest answer, like this is the best, best answer. Ați văzut că m-ați întrebat că pe Instagram care e faza și v-am spus, acum știți. Adică dacă o ai mică și vei doar să o așa, e nașpa. Dacă nu, ești bine. Ok, ne-a dus aici chiduri frumos ce ăsta, cheesecake, nu? Cheesecake, dar reinterpretat mărul lui Adam, care nu ca o mărta și ea. Ia uite. Ia uite, Adam Zappel. Ia, îi văd. Ia, foarte interesant. Devil Apple. Devil Apple? Da. We were talking now about... You have to say that with the Japanese guys. Yes, with the Japanese. Uh, Japanese actors, actress, I don't know, but actors are very kind and they have this special, um, let's say, mentality or I don't know, uh, how they meet the new person. So they bring the gift with them. And uh, it happened with me two times. Uh, no, one time. I like one time and he brought to me a mask, you know, the mask, face mask too, and uh, two pair of socks with a smile, you know, like yellow Before socks. you start filming yes, with him? Yes, before, yeah, like a greeting, you know. A greeting, so, yes. that, so they have like, they're, they're very polite. Yes, they're very polite about that. Okay. And they give you uh, your free space. I remember when I was shooting with a Japanese guy, but he was like a cameraman and he was an actor. So when he had the break, he he gave me completely all my stuff. He bring me my phone. He bring me my slippers, my robe, uh, my drink, and left me and left me in my room. Like it's my own space. For you to be comfortable. Yes. And after we continue, he will come back. You know? Wow, so like very professional and yes, very kind very at the same time. I never seen that before. Okay, so I need to try this apple. Oh, this no, my thingy. Sour? Very sour. <laughs> yes. But you don't have this in Ukraine, so sour. We have, but I didn't expect it because it was dessert. <laughs> yeah, it's very sour. Okay. But it looks good. Mm -hmm. You have to try this. Mm -hmm. Try the tem the temptation apple. Oh, it's white inside. Okay. Mm. This is not sour. It's uh, sweet and nice. You like it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Cum acum voi încă o legendă, nu se poate așa ceva, fata, la venit și pe Dani aici tot de la Teg și pe Dani la fel știu de când mergeam în CC, băi, eram clasa a 9-a, 10 -a, ceva de genul ăsta Era la grădiniță Știu că era Dani acolo, se juca Diablo 2, frate, asta ții minte că te vedeam Acolo făceam de bani Acolo făceam pe de bani? Da, frate, deci e să întâlnești două legende ale Counter-Strike-ului E ceva ce nu te și fiecare de Așa ai zis, da? E foarte bine, lasă că e bine că l-ai pregătit You see yourself doing this in like 10 years, 15 years from now I'm okay with that. I think I can do that, but I would like to shoot in some real movies. Real movies. Mm -hmm. But don't you see yourself like getting also behind the camera or you don't feel that? Like I I feel like I'm really good at that. I mean, I see the perfect angles, I see how to make the girl beautiful. I even sometimes I shoot the girl who is ugly on her phone and after she said, oh my God, I'm so beautiful. Like, <laughs> I can do that, yeah, I can do that, but it's very difficult. I mean, it's a serious job and you need to be serious for that. I'm not so serious, I think, for the job now. Not yet. Not yet. But you're talking about 10, 15 years. Maybe, yeah, maybe. But you need to do some step for that, you know? I mean, nobody will uh, propose me anything. I need to start it by myself. And uh, yeah, well, we'll see, maybe. You see the difference in people. Like, for example, I have my phone in, Ro in English because I don't want to have my phone in Romanian. She has her phone in Ukrainian because she's a true patriot. Yeah. <laughs> what were you telling me that nowadays people in Ukraine, they don't want to speak Russian at all? Mm -hmm. They hate yeah. Russian language now. What do you feel about Russia? I feel sorry for them. Talking about the population, the politicians. Yes, about the... population mostly. Merci Kidor, best meal ever, super bună. Merci mult. Da, merci. Papa, papa. Why you? One second. We were talking now about the fact that there are so many lights here in Bucharest compared to Ukraine. Yes, we don't have 
anything you know like with the light maybe just some lamp here or something like that and yesterday when i was uh, driving in my taxi i was thinking wow you're wasting so much electricity <laughs> oh, come on you're not doing this because of the war not because you're like so eco-friendly and whatever but the situation in lviv i, I think is like much better than the but situation still, we don't have all the lights here we also have this uh, we have the schedule when they turn off electricity we have like four hours uh, turn off after four hours turn on and after four hours turn off you know it's like that schedule is like that okay. every day 